Origami originated in Japan, a country full of interesting culture and creative games. The word origami derived from two simple Japanese words, uri meaning to fold and kami meaning paper. In modern days, the majority of people making origami are children, but that was not the intention. In 1794 through 1185, also referred to as the Heian period, origami was born. During this period, Japan relied mostly on arts and paper, which were considered rare and a commodity. At ceremonies and gatherings, or on bland Sundays, people always went back to paper. It is the secret that is behind origami that truly sets a place in not only Japan, but in the world of geometry. Hamaki Huzita came up with very powerful axioms specific to origami. An axiom is a postulate, which is a statement that has not been proved or demonstrated, but is considered to be self-evident and is under necessary decision. Hamaki Huzita's steps are as follows. The first axiom states that if you are given point one, and point two, therefore then you can make a fold connecting these two points. This fold connects point one to point two. The second axiom states that if you're given two points, point one and point two, therefore then we can fold point one onto point two. The third axiom states that if you're given two lines, line one and line two, therefore then we can fold line one onto line two. The fourth axiom states that if you're given a point, point one, and a line, line one, therefore then we can fold a line that's perpendicular to line one but passes through point one. Notice how this line passes through point one and perpendicular Not only are there specific axioms that are related to origami, but there are also two distinct theorems. You will learn about them shortly. The first theorem is called the Kowalski theorem, named after Tajikazu Kowalski. This theorem states that a1 plus a3 plus a2n minus 1 equals a2 plus a4 plus a2n equals 180. This states that the vertex of the sum of all the odd angles adds up to 180 as do the evens. A given crease pattern can be folded into a flat origami if all the sequences of the angles match the equation. An example of the Kowalski theorem is that if this is angle 1, angle 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, if angle 1 plus angle 3 plus angle 5 
all of the odd angles, and angle 2 plus angle 4 plus angle 6, all of the even angles equals 180 degrees. Therefore, then, this or piece of origami is flat foldable. They equal 180 degrees because all of the angles at, a, at, one, at this vertex will equal 360. Since this is congruent to this, this is congruent to this, and this is congruent to this by VAT, therefore, if you add them together, they'll equal 180. And as you can see, it's flat foldable. The Mayakawa theorem is the other theorem. This theorem states that if one looks inside a flat origami without unfolding it, a zigzagged profile is shown. This is determined by mountain valley creases, which always differ by 2. It is expressed by the equation the absolute value of m minus v equals 2. m is the mountain folds and v is the valley folds. An example of the Mayakawa theorem is this triangle. Since it is a flat origami, the Mayakawa theorem states that without unfolding it, you can see a zigzagged profile on the inside. This is determined by the number of mountain folds, since it looks like a mountain, and valley folds, since it looks like a valley. With the mountain folds and valley folds, a zigzagged profile is shown. They always differ by two. See how there are four mountain folds and two valley folds. Four minus two equals two. This equation is also determined this equation. m minus v equals 180 degrees. Now, let's say that a fold rotates 180 degrees at each mountain fold and negative 180 degrees at each valley fold. Therefore, then you have this equation. 180m minus 180v equals 360. Divide each side by 180 and to prove that this equation is correct, 